Hello everyone, uh, we have met again and uh, I'm Therapeut Jirapachande. Today I will introduce you about uh, how to bring in the data from our custom components to our Flex application. Normally, the we have to build the custom component in somewhere of our project or in the Flex library project. Uh, and uh, when we need to retrieve the data from the custom component we have done by many ways uh, as a like create a custom properties that uh, the expression can call from the custom component directly but this is a result in, in efficient way when the user has interact maybe sometime and often we need the user to interact and the custom component will bring the data to application that will go in by dynamically so uh, we will look at the custom event okay let's take into uh, our example today uh, I have two projects here first project is the uh, uh, flex library project and flex application project in the flex library project uh, I have created uh, a component my our custom component name sign in component here that target to retrieve the username and password from user and able user to click sign in okay let's take into the source code i have a uh, create the event handler for the sign in button already and we will put the code that will dispatch our custom event uh, from this you can create uh, your custom event by create an action script class and extend event class as a sample here after that you, we need to define uh, event names and don't forget to describe the attribute for event that you take the value out ok let's get it work First, uh, we need to create uh, the object of our event like this. Describe uh, event name and following with the username and password. You can done this by modify your constructor. And this patch it out. Okay, from at the moment, uh, we can dispatch the event out, but the application still don't know how to uh, catch it because the event that uh, our custom event didn't take the bubble variable as true, so this event will not bubbling into the top level uh, following the default value of the event object okay I will okay you see here is false so how to make the application to interact with the dispatching events from the custom components you can done by use the metadata tag okay metadata and use the event tag the event tag has two properties. The first is the name properties, and the second is the type properties. Okay, about the names, uh, I I mentioned you to use the same name as the event names because it is not uh, if it's not equal, so the flex framework will omit this declaration, and this will not work. Okay, I will copy and pass it here and type uh, I mentioned you to use the full package of the our event class okay it is com.tsa.event and following with user sign in event okay after the step and come back to the application Okay, as you see, I have bring the 
cut some component out from here okay I will re bring it again from the component panel here start in component from the my library project okay back to the source and you will see the flex builder automatically create our tag already so we will check uh, if our event is appear already or not uh huh it's here user sign in so uh, at this point uh, some somebody can realize that how the concept is going on so the work that you need to do left is a uh, lighter to work with the normal components you create the event handler that receives the user sign event and here I will show you uh, the alert to check a uh, view the custom component has dispatched the data out okay hello and hello mister I received the username Uh huh, and I use the username field from this. Okay, finish. Okay, let's try to run our application. You can notice that in the Flex application project has no, uh, any referring to the sign component, but it used to import the components into the project and here okay so uh, I, I will test my component by username and password okay 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 I, I, I will type a little uh-huh and that is uh, you can see that uh, the alert takes the data from inside custom components and display in the application so thank you for listening and you can contact me uh, following the email at the at the first of this presentation and you can following my work uh, by at the website at the first phase of my presentation thank you